Hey everyone, welcome to another video from JP Tech. In this video, I'm using the 8600K before I deleted it at 5 GHz. This is a 6 core, 6 total thread processor. What we're looking at here is CPU utilization at different frame levels and different visual settings to see how that impacts CPU usage. During this video, the only thing that you really need to look at is the CPU usage and the GPU usage. The GPU usage at times is going to look rather low and that's just because of the FPS cap. The important part here is to recognize that when the FPS cap is set at the three settings I use, which is going to be 60, 100, and 165, that at those given frame rates the CPU usage isn't going to vary much once once changing the settings has taken place and time has passed enough to let all the settings get applied. You will see some variance in GPU usage that's just going to go up based on the visual settings applied and how much load it's putting on the GPU. The purpose of this video is to really focus on CPU usage in relation to visual settings and resolution. A lot of people are kind of picturing you know 1080 as the resolution that's hard on CPU usage and kind of by default that's just because of GPU load that's not necessarily because that resolution is any harder on the CPU versus 4k it's just a matter of how many FPS your GPU can deliver You'll see throughout this video as the frame rate goes up, the CPU usage is going to go up. And really with the 8600 beyond, beyond about 100 FPS, in Battlefield 1 anyways, it really starts to hit a performance wall where you're going to start getting into the territory depending on the map, where you are in a map on a 64 man conquest and the map that you're playing you're going to start hitting that point where you get into the 90s and once you get into the 90s on CPU usage with this chip your GPU is going to start coming off of 96 to 99 percent usage and it's going to start falling and dipping sporadically here and there below 90 and that's where you're going to get these frame variances when you're shooting for high refresh gaming. Now if you're somebody using this chip for 100 FPS or lower or you just all you care about is just the 60 FPS target it's going to be an excellent chip because as you saw in the beginning of this video the CPU usage was only about 60% that's that's more than sufficient to be playing Battlefield 1 so basically going from ultra to medium has we we could pretty much say zero influence on CPU usage and that's because all of that is all the visuals and resolution all that's handled by the GPU the CPU is handling you know physics workloads and frame delivery basically and that's why the higher the frame rate the higher the stress on the CPU this this logic carries the same with any game that you're playing the only difference is the amount of overall load and that's that's going to be more determined by the game battlefield's a pretty cpu heavy game there's other games where the 8600k is it's not going to be any worse than anything else and you know potentially even better than others it just depends on how many threads are being utilized and how hard the game is on the cpu but even if, even if you're looking at a game that only uses like 20% CPU at 60 FPS, you're going to see some kind of increase when you go from 60 FPS to 144. That's just the nature of the beast on how the CPU helps deliver frames. So as you can see, once we're in the, F, the 160 or so FPS range, CPU usage is very high and we're outside of the action right now.
So I hope this video helps people understand how, at least in Battlefield 1 anyways, how the CPU is affected by the game and how it doesn't matter what you change your visual settings to, it doesn't matter how low you set them really, the load on the CPU is going to remain consistent with frame rates and the amount of action happening in a map. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you come back and check out for more. I'm sorry this video took so long to come out. Thanks for watching. Come back for more JP Tech.